It's Nashville's 1029, the local buzz. I am Tony Stone. Told you I had the guys from Ancients joining me tonight, and they're finally here after messing up my green room. But uh, we got them here in the studio. Guys, what's going on with you this evening? How's it oh, going, man? Just hanging out. How you doing, brother? I am well. I am well. Thanks for coming in tonight. Guys, uh, let's go around the room. Introduce yourself to our listening audience. I am Clint. I do vocals. All right. I'm Brent. I play bass. And I'm Blaze, and I attempt to play the drums. Attempt, man. You you sound like you do play the drums, brother. Uh, well, I try. <laughs> right on. Right on. Uh, let's find out a little bit about you guys. How did you get together? Uh, well, as of about this time last year, we started the band uh, around Christmas time. Uh, we came from two different bands, mm-hmm. The Castle of the Tomb and A Promised Threat. Kind of came together, made a, made a little groove section. Um... And we just basically been playing shows, put out a CD, had an awesome 2011. Wonderful, man. Uh, sounds good. Uh, there's also three other guys, right? Yeah, there's three other dudes. Yeah. That, that three are, other guitar players. Yeah, yeah. The three other guitar players. Yeah. Um, can I ask why the need for three guitar players? I mean, we're, we're able to layer like a lot of stuff. A lot of bands can't get away with with just two right. guitars, but we're still able to keep it thick the entire time, almost like a driving force. Okay. Try to keep that headband groove going yeah. the whole time. You know, I think it works really well for us. Nice. Well, well, I mean, I I, I love the sound. So I mean, obviously, it does work for you. Yeah. I just I just didn't know. Um, most bands grab. You know, one, maybe two guitar players. Uh, yeah. uh, but I, I did see that you guys had three, and I was like, wow. Yeah. I mean, you can actually tell uh, when you listen to the music that yeah, there's a, a little something extra there. Uh, so you guys all came together from two different bands. Uh, what happened with the other bands? You just split away, decided to form this one? Well, me and Blaze were originally in a promised threat. Okay. And we parted ways with our uh, previous vocalists and we were like who are we gonna get who are we gonna get and then they gave me a cd and i was uh, yeah. uh, next <laughs> next week i was at practice so. <laughs> pretty much yeah. nice but we played shows with him for a long time he's a great promoter a great front man that's who we wanted from the start so it all worked out great, great. drinking buddy yeah. great drinking buddy. <laughs> that's where it all starts <laughs> <laughs> well right well that's that's cool man so you guys have been together for about a year doing this thing um you've put out the the ep cd that you got um it's called opposite elite uh can you find this out? Is it? Um, we kind of try to keep this one a little bit underground. Yeah. Um, but you can find it on our Bandcamp and purchase it there. It's okay. www.ancients.bandcamp.com. You can either download it for free or send us a donation if you dig it. Okay. So where'd you uh, where'd you guys work on this uh, this new EP? At? We actually recorded yeah, it all we, ourselves. Yeah, we do everything we, ourselves. We take a lot of pride really? in doing mm-hmm. a lot of stuff ourselves. Try to keep it DIY. Book all our own mm-hmm. shows. Record all our own stuff. Right on. Keeping the money in the house. Oh, yeah. yeah. 2012 is the year of the artist entrepreneur. (laughs) Hey, it is. It really is. Uh, Because who knows what's going on with labels these days. So if a a band can definitely get out there and do it themselves, then uh, I give give them strong props about it. Because, I mean, that's that's probably the future of, of music is... Just yeah, the band getting out there and, and doing it, promoting them. The, I mean, Facebook absolutely works wonders oh, for, yeah. for yeah, everybody yeah. nowadays. Uh, speaking of Facebook, how do you find you on Facebook? Uh, www.facebook.com slash ancients metal. Very cool. So this one you're not letting get out there a whole lot. Are you guys working on some new stuff, new new CD? We actually yeah. just uh, we just started tracking for it last week, so okay. we're shooting for a spring release. So okay. definitely be on the lookout for that. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter and everything. and. We'll keep you keep you posted. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, hey, sounds good. I I'd love to hear some new stuff. Not that I, I'm I'm worn out on the older stuff or, or so, but uh, I'm I'm digging it, and I think our listening audience are. I know uh, at least the guys and the gals that like the heavy stuff really dig what you guys are doing. So well, hey, that's um, how we do. That's yeah. what we do it for, man. Right on. Well, let's. Uh, this is one that we've been playing here uh, for a little bit on the local buzz. Uh, I got this. I, I don't know. Clint, what it was probably back in October when you joined me here Something in the studio. Like that, yeah. um, but I got my hands on this. We've been spinning it ever since. And uh, I know you're liking it because we're still playing it. So we've got more to come with the guys from Ancients. But right now, I want you to enjoy this. Break your neck. Do what you do. It's the Chariots of Fire. More with the guys here in just a little bit. 737 1029. You got something you want to say to them? Feel free. Hit up the buzz lines. 1029, the local buzz. <sighs> Join once again from the guys from Ancients. We're going to find out uh, what their shows are about, where they're going to be playing. And by doing so, I guess I need to ask you guys, where, where are you playing? Uh, our next local show in town is going to be Friday, January 27th at The Muse uh, with some really sick bands, uh, Straight from the Path, Structures, Cruel Hand, all touring bands. They're super awesome. Definitely check them out. Uh, yeah, it should be packed, man. Be packed. Right. And that's so, uh, at the Muse. Yeah. Yes. That's, okay. That's at the Muse. Uh, uh, if you want to get tickets, hit us uh, hit us up on our Facebook or go to the Muse's website. 
Um, do you know cover? Uh, I believe it's 10 in advance and 12 at the door, which is not bad for, for a big touring package like yeah. that. So. Ah, sounds great. So what can you expect from you guys? When you take the stage, six of you go out, what goes on? Because, I mean, clearly you guys have to put on an incredible stage show. <laughs> I mean, uh, we do what we can, man. We were always taught go big or go home, so try to do what we can. Just get the crowd involved, get everybody headbanging, everybody having a good time. And, uh, I mean, I don't know, just put on a show, man. Right. You guys do stage diving? Oh, uh, we, we, we promote stage it, diving. For sure. Yes. We promote stage diving. <laughs> yeah. so, so we would like more of it, actually. Right, so yeah. people are more than welcome to come jump on yeah, the stage. Probably, and, yeah. and, and come yeah. hang out with us if you want to. Yeah, yeah. Right. Whatever they We're want. always cramped up there, but there's always enough room for a stage driver, too. Oh. Right on, right on. Uh, as far as your crowds go, crazy? Yeah, uh, there, yeah we, had some, we had some crazy yeah. kids that come out yeah. to some shows. Uh, Nashville has always been awesome to us, and, and in other cities it's actually been pretty sweet, too. Yeah, so. we, if we get a lot of good responses out of town, actually. Right. You, you guys play out of town a lot? Yeah, quite a bit. We, uh, recently we just went on a two-week mini tour through the Midwest, which went great. And right on. Great responses each night, great crowds each night, and now we're just kind of doing the weekend thing to this record's done, and we're going right. to probably try to do another lengthier tour. Cool. So you guys are just going to be playing at home a lot. Uh, well, actually, we're kind of doing like a three-hour range. We'll be heading uh, heading to West Tennessee, East Tennessee, uh, Atlanta, places like that. Yeah. Cool. Just doing like mini tours, like three date, three consecutive dates in a row. Right. Out of town. So it's a little vacation. <laughs> uh, right on. So so during the writing and making this new album, you guys are still going to be out playing, and then I guess when the next album comes out. Full swing. Yeah, full yeah, swing. I mean, again. by next summer we'll be we'll be hitting it real hard. Yeah. So nice, nice. Uh, as far as the writing goes, who does who does the writing for you guys? Is it a joint effort? Uh, it it just depends, man. Uh, people will come with different riffs. We'll kind of work them all together. Um, it, everybody's involved as much as they you know care to be for a song. You know what I mean? And everybody really digs getting together and just yeah. playing some music, man. Yeah. Getting stuff out. Well, cool, man. Um, so January twenty seventh, correct at the music, and uh, you you just named a whole bunch of other bands that I don't play. <laughs> right, yeah. right. Um, they're, they're a lot of all, them are all around the country. All around the country. Yeah. So it's uh, more of a kind Canada of Canada too. Yeah, Canada. Yeah, yeah. Canadian. Nine years old. Come on out and give them a good show, man. Yeah. Right on. So uh, January twenty seventh, mark your calendar if you want. Check them out on Facebook. I'm sure all the details up there for you. Uh, we've got this new song. Uh, haven't played it yet. I guess uh, dun, dun, dun. brand new music <laughs> debuting here on the local buzz. You want to tell me a little bit about this one? Uh, this one is epigenetic. It mm-hmm. is number two on Opposite Elite, and uh, it's for all the uh, all the windmill headbangers out there. The windmill headbangers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The most technical yeah. song on the CD by far. So. The most technical song you yeah, said? Yeah, yeah, definitely the most technical. Lots song of changes, so. but still a driving force throughout the entire song. All right, well, let's check it out. Got more with the guys from Ancients. Stick around. We will be talking and finding out a little bit more about them. But right now, enjoy this one. It's 1029, the local buzz. It's everything that rocks. Everything that rocks. Nashville's 1029, the local buzz. I am Tony Stone, 737 1029. You want to join us here in the studios on the buzz lines? Feel free, hit it up. Request. Got the guys in the Ancients. Are from Ancient, still in the studio with me. You can hit up the phone lines if you want to talk to those guys as well. Uh, feel free about the Facebook or the Twitter. So, uh, where did you guys come up with the name? Uh, if you if you ever look into the ancient astronaut theory mm-hmm. at all, um, just about basically a possibility of extraterrestrials having an influence on this world. Okay, we're, we're all weirdos. Is that is that something <laughs> that weird. you you believe? Uh, I, I would say to an extent we all believe in it. Yeah, yeah. That's what a lot of our music is about, and. Uh, we just want to open people's minds and kind of throw some ideas out there. You ever seen an alien? I, uh, I saw, I have seen a spaceship one time. I don't know, is the government listening? Right. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I did see a spaceship one time with yeah. my father. He never admits it. I know he's listening right now. And uh, that happened. I promise you, I seen a UFO one time. I'm positive. Right on, man. <laughs> That's great. Um, so catch them live. Uh, I've I've never had the chance to see them throw on a whole show, but uh, I can't wait to do so. Uh, get out there and uh, get in the mix with all these crazy kids throwing punches and elbows. Is that you? You get a lot of uh, crazy. Oh, we kids get we throwing get, the punches. We get everything from windmilling to stage yeah. diving to, to spin kicks to I don't I don't even know. Yeah, broken bones, baby. Right, right. So uh, if if, yeah. if you're not in for that, make sure you stay on the outskirts of it. Yeah, right? yeah, so, yeah. But uh, if you are, hell, that's a 
good way to get in the mix right there. Get right. get your get your exercise out. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, guys, uh, you got anything else you need to say real quick? Um, yeah. Um, if you guys want to help out uh, your Nashville local metals metal bands like us, uh, we just got selected to be in Hales and Horns magazine for like a voting thing for the best unsigned bands. Go to halesandhorns.com and make sure you click click the ancients tab and uh, get us get us in that magazine trying to put Nashville metal back on the map, baby. You've got that uh, on your Facebook site as well. Yeah, so we promote can, it all the time. Yeah, so yeah, j- jump up on there. We'll, we'll chat with you. We'll, we'll hang out. I don't know. We'll show you funny YouTube videos. Uh, <laughs> right. You guys got a lot of videos up? Uh, we've got a few. We're, we Not just as much starting, as we'd like. Yeah, we're sure. just starting to document some more. We're, we're going to come out with some studio footage soon and okay. a bunch of other stuff. Well, cool, guys. Well, I appreciate you coming in this evening. Thanks looking for us, looking, you, looking forward to the new album. Uh, as soon as you get it, make sure you get that in my hands. I'd love oh, to, I'd love do, to check man. it we'll out. Uh, we're going to do one more from you. You want to tell me a little bit about a Collisions? Uh, collisions is... Uh, I don't know. It's one of the real fun, bouncy songs on the CD. So uh, fun and bouncy. If you're really? you know, if you're really? driving and you have a tendency to move, uh, pull over safely as to uh, not disrupt yeah. traffic. It opens the CD as well as our set too. Yeah. Right on. Oh, one more one more time. Where can uh, people go find the music? People can find the music at ancients.bandcamp.com or follow us on facebook.com slash ancients metal. Guys, thanks for coming in. Check thanks, them out buddy. live January 27th at the Muse. Uh, one last song. Brand new stuff, Collisions, Ancients, 1029 Local Bus. (laughs) 